Okay, so here we're going to do another example involving the quotient rule. So again, the quotient rule said f over g prime is g times f prime minus f times g prime all over g squared. So we're just going to use that formula here to, define, uh, to find the derivative. Of this case, we're, we're using t. So g of t is t plus 4 to the 1 half over t minus 4 to the 1 half. All right, so I'm just going to start using our, you know, just start using our derivative formula, and we'll see what we get. So grab one other. All right, so in this case, it says the derivative of this function. Again, I'm going to kind of do it just in the exact same way as I did the other example. It says whatever's in the bottom, that just uh, gets, uh, I always just write that down first. And then it says we're going to take the derivative of what's in the numerator. So if we do t, t plus 4 to the 1 half, the 1 half would come out front. We would leave the t plus 4 alone. We would subtract 1. Well, 1 half minus 1 would be negative 1 half. And that'll be the derivative of our, our, first, uh, our first term. So then minus uh, we'll just leave the top part alone, the thing that we took the derivative of originally. And if we do the derivative of the denominator, again, the 1 half will come out front. We'll get our t minus 4 to the negative 1 half, and um, that'll be the second part. And then we'll take the t minus 4, we'll take the denominator, and we will just square that. So at this point, I think kind of cleaning it up can be, uh, you know, maybe the sometimes a little bit of the, again, the tricky part. So uh, there's not really much of anything to multiply or combine, uh, but what we can do is we can factor. So um, I'm going to factor in maybe what feels like a strange way at first, um, but it's kind of the same basic idea. So, if, you know, if you had x squared minus x to the fifth, what would you factor out of here? Well, the thing that you could factor out is the smaller exponent, so x squared times 1 minus x cubed. So I'm going to use this idea uh, when I factor. We pull out the smaller number, okay? So, well, okay, so I see, um, I first off see that there's uh, things are being multiplied by a 1 half in uh, both terms. So we can factor the 1 half out. And then I think, well, I have a t minus 4 in parentheses, and I also have a t minus 4 in parentheses. So I can factor out a t minus 4. Again, now the question is to what exponent? Well, I've got a positive 1 half and a negative 1 half. I'm going to factor out the negative 1 half. Okay, then I do the same thing. I've got, um, so we pulled out the t minus 4. I've got a t plus 4 to the negative 1 half and a t plus 4 to the 1 half. Well, that means I can factor out a t plus 4, and I'm going to factor out again the negative 1 half. All right, so now I think what needs to go sort of back inside the brackets to get the original stuff back. Well, 1 half times 1 would give us 1 half, so that part's there. Well, t minus 4 to the negative 1 half, I've got to multiply by something to get t minus 4 to the positive 1 half. Well, we need to use a like base. So remember, with like bases, we have to add the exponents. So I'm thinking negative 1 half plus what power? You know, negative 1 half plus what is going to give me positive 1 half? Well, negative 1 half plus 1 is going to give us uh, our positive 1 half exponent. So, um, so I think now when we distribute all of what we factored out to just t minus 4, we'll get the first term back. And then, okay, well, I think, what would I need to multiply by to get the second term back? Again, we've got the, the, uh, the 1 half in there already. Um, we pulled out the t minus 4 to the negative 1 half, so we don't have to do anything with that. Um, and then, okay, so we've got t plus 4 to the negative 1 half, but we need t plus 4 to the positive 1 half. Well, we can just do the same thing. Here, we can multiply by t plus 4 to the first power, and when we distribute, we'll get the correct exponent. Okay, in the denominator, uh, we've got things, uh, we've got this 1 half and a 2, and since these are in brackets or parentheses, we can just multiply them. 1 half times 2 would leave us to the first power. 
All right, so now I'm going to do a couple things. I need to close off my brackets. Um, so now we can clean this up a little bit more. So I can write 1 half as just 1 over 2. Now, these have negative exponents. So since they have negative exponents, and what we have is multiplication between uh, the number, you know, this factor, this factor, and everything in the brackets is, can be viewed as a factor. Um, I can take these to the denominator and just change their exponents to being positive values. So t minus 4 to the negative 1 half will turn into t minus 4 to the positive 1 half. t plus 4 to the negative 1 half, we can stick that in the denominator as t plus 4 to the positive 1 half. Okay, we still have the t minus 4 to the first. That's still just hanging out downstairs anyway. And now we can simplify what's left over inside the brackets. So notice what's going to happen here. It looks to me like we're going to get a t minus t, so that and that would just cancel. And then we would have negative 4 minus 4. Well, negative 4 minus 4 is going to leave us with negative 16. So now we're getting pretty close. To me, we almost have this simplified really, uh, really nicely. Um, Let's see, notice everything in the denominator is being multiplied again, 2 times the t minus 4 to the half, t plus 4 to the half, t minus 4 to the first. So we've got negative 16 over 2, which we can make negative 8. And then I'm going to collect my like terms. We've got a t minus 4 to the 1 half times a t minus 4 to the first. Well, we have like bases. We can add the exponents. So we can make that t minus 4 to the 3 over 2. Uh, power and then the t plus 4 to the 1 half that part is still just left over and whew, I think I would uh, probably stop right there and say that's my derivative so again the quotient rule part I think is really not that bad it's the uh, you know just all the uh, algebraic simplification to get it to a nice kind of clean and usually factored answer